Secret Affair now, wow! A radio drama written by Rebecca Monye and produced by Sipran Joseph for Nollywood Radio France. <laughs> at the door. Are you expecting anyone at 4 a.m.? I don't know. Haven't we been home together? I don't know. Sorry, Mommy, I'm still here. I, I couldn't hear what you were saying. Okay, so when is Uncle coming over? This morning? Okay, when? Hello? Hello? Chica, are you there? It's Uncle Felix and your auntie. Felix, let me try. She is probably still asleep. Chica! Are you there? Chica! In a new no. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! He's here! Now? Mama, do you know what time it is right now? Oh, I have to go, I have to go. He's already here. Bye, bye, I'll talk to you later. Oh my god, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Yemi, you have to hide. Please, I beg you, hide. Woman, w woman, are you sick? Woman, are you sick? Are you, are you okay? Me, a whole man? Hide for what? For who? I'm getting fed up. I'm getting fed up of your lies. I'm getting fed up. Chica, please, if you can hear us, please let us in. You know. This is Ada, Uncle Felix's wife. Oh, Auntie Ada, good morning. I'm so sorry. Are you alone? No. I'm here with Ada. Chica, oh yeah, open the door and let us come in. Do you know how long we have been standing here? <gasps> oh, cool. I'm so sorry. Please give me one moment. Um, let me put something on. I'll be right back, okay? Sorry, just, just one quick moment. I'll be back. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. I bet you I'm not going anywhere. Shh. Shh. Please. Jimmy, come here. Please come here. Let us talk. Let me talk to you in the room, please. Just, just come here. What is it? What is it again? I'm here in the room with you. Tell me. What are you going to tell me? I'm listening. Yemi. 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 How many times did I call you? You are the one that put me inside this problem. Because of you, my family members that I'm only supposed to see on holidays are visiting me at 4 a.m. in the morning. Look, baby, if you like, you can call my name 50 million times. I don't see what your dysfunctional family have to do with me hiding under the bed like I'm forgetting with a married woman. I'm getting fed up. Do you understand? I'm getting you told me to ask my father for $4,000 for a business venture you said would yield double the amount within 30 days. It took me a whole two weeks to convince my father to give me that money after he's already sending me more than enough for my monthly allowance. Yeah. 
Yes, yes. I told you already that sometimes these things don't work out. Besides, not all business ventures succeed. But I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best, baby. I'm doing my best. Oh my God. Oh my God, Yemi. Yemi, you lost $4,000? I didn't lose it. Yemi, I didn't lose it. You gambled away my father's money? Yemi, that was not what you told me. You know that was not what you told me. What am I going to do? What am I going to tell my uncle? Uh, oh, oh my God, my uncle. He's at the door. Chica, you have one minute to open this door. Oh, but your mother and your father will hear from me. I and my wife rushed out here to come and see you before we headed to work to avoid traffic. And you have us here standing in the court. Children of now are big. Are very disrespectful. Can you imagine? In fact, my husband, even when she opens this door, you should still report her to her parents. Shh. Hear me? You have one second to hide. If they see you or even hear you, it is over between us. And don't assume this conversation is over. I promise you, we will pick up where we left off. You better pray for a miracle because both of us need it this morning. Uncle, I'm, I'm here. I'm so sorry. I'm here. Sorry for the delay. Eh? Now, wow. So all you are wearing is just a t-shirt and a pajamas pant, chica. You took at least 15 minutes to come and open the door. What exactly were you doing? Oh my gosh, Auntie. I was doing nothing. I was just looking for my pajamas. Besides, I'm an adult. I don't have anything to hide from you. Hey. You are an adult. An adult, eh? Hmm. An adult that will keep her father's immediate older brother at the door for 30 minutes. You see, my husband, you see? Have you used your own two eyes to see it now? Eh? Ada, Ada, my dear, calm down. This is not the time to have this conversation anyway. Hmm. <sighs> Uh, we both still need to head to work. I'm sure she did not keep us out intentionally. That's true, Uncle. I, I didn't. I am not see out there on purpose, I promise. I will never do such a thing. It's just that... It's just that I was so sleepy. Yes, that was what happened. Huh. Anyway, I have said it before. And I will say it again in front of you, Chica. What is a 26, 27-year-old girl born and raised in Nigeria doing living by herself, far away from all her relatives, if not for her to have room to become wayward? And yes, I said it. People are already saying it's behind our back anyway. Ah, damn, my dear. Is this the time you want to open that can of worms when you know we need to be heading out as soon as I collect the money? My brother said he sent to his daughter for his trading business. When we leave this place, we still have to branch at the bank before I drop you off at work. And then I myself still need to head to the office. Ah, damn, my dear. This is not the time you want to have this conversation, okay? <laughs> Uncle, you know, you know I'm not wayward. You, you know now. Remember, I told you, Auntie, that I needed to live here because it's closer to my campus. Mm. Mm -hmm. Chica, Chica, is someone else in this house with you? <laughs> no, never. Never, Uncle. Why are you talking like this? You know how toilets are <clears throat> in America. Sometimes they just make flushing sounds. I, 
I mean, if someone were here with me, you would have heard them say something, or even hear the TV or something. Hey, hey, hey. Felix, what I had is toilet flushing on. You and I heard it clearly. Okay. Chica, if nobody is here, let us go in and check it ourselves. Hmm? Uncle Philip. Mm. Uncle Philip, does it come to this? Why are you allowing us to embarrass me like this? What have I done wrong? Have you seen me with any man? Eh, embarrass you. Are you talking to me to your uncle? <laughs> My mom just called. And she told me that I should give you the $1,000 I have on me since she told me at the last minute that you were coming. And she said to tell you that to come by any time during next, the first week of next month to collect the rest. Other than that, I really don't understand why you and Auntie have been so mean to me this early morning. It's okay, Chica. Stop crying. We we are only worried about you and want the best for you. It's okay. It's okay, my daughter. Don't cry. Chica, we actually have to be on our way so that we are not late. So just bring me what you have, okay? It's okay. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. <laughs> okay, I'll group. The month is nice. I think we'll get it for you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, now that I have the money, myself and Ada will immediately head out. We still have to branch at the bank before we head to work. Uncle, are you sure? You don't want me to make you and Auntie a quick breakfast before you go? No, no, no. We have to go right now or we will be late. Chica, keep in touch more. You hear me? Keep in touch. So we know you are okay. Eh? As your father here in Europe, I'm responsible for you. Visit more often, okay? Good. Good girl. And uh, let's head out. Okay. If you say so, dear. Mm, let's go. something oh, oh, oh is it just me did anybody hear that <laughs> oh trust me don't worry it's nothing don't make auntie that late for work i i must have lost something while i was panicking a few moments ago looking for something to wear uh, don't worry okay it's all right adama Take good care of yourself and make sure you call me or your auntie if you need anything, okay? Good girl. Okay, sir. Thank you. Bye-bye, auntie. Eh, okay. Bye-bye. You've been listening to Secret Affair, a radio drama written by Rebecca Monye and produced by Cyprian Joseph for Nollywood Radio France. Chica was played by Rebecca Monye, the playwright herself. Ada was played by Chichi Okonkwo. Yemi and Uncle Felix were played by Cyprian Joseph, the producer. What happens next? Find out in the next episode of Secret Affair. Mm -hmm.